So, how easy is it going to be to get malware straight from Google in 2024? Today we're going to do a live experiment. So we're going to do some searches and we'll see if we can find malware. I'm going to start off with something easy. I'm going to search for CS2 cheats download free. Now, as you can tell, that's a really bad combination of words. So let's see what we get. So we have a couple of sites and then we have videos. And ooh, this one has a nice free download in all caps. So it must be the legitimate one. And apparently it's also undetected and safe. In fact, it's so safe that apparently it shows you how to turn off real-time protection, cloud protection for Windows Defender before you download it. But of course, if we take a look at the description of this video, and keep in mind, this was the top result when I did this search. It's the number one video that showed up. It has a link to Mediafire, file hosting website, and then of course, it has a password. Anytime a download has a password associated with it, it typically means it's malware. The reason there's a password is so that the archive itself can't be scanned. But of course, if we go here and download it, this is almost certainly going to be an info stealer malware. I've made several videos in the past showing you how this malware works. So that wasn't too hard at all. Let's try again. This time, we're gonna search for something very different and very harmless. So let's say I just want a cave wallpaper and we have some images, but the top result is Wallpaper Cave, which is a popular wallpaper website. Now, all of us might wanna change our desktop wallpaper. So this is a very common site and this is one of the top results when you search for anything related to wallpaper. So safe to assume a lot of people are gonna click on things here. Let's say we like this image. Ooh, immediately we have what looks like a download link here, file size 487 kilobytes, full version. And you might think this is the actual wallpaper and click on it. And of course it leads you to a third party adware website. But I'm kind of curious as to what this actually is. So we're gonna go ahead with the download in this case, cause I don't really know if this is an info sealer if it's just adware so it's a 4.2 megabyte file if we open it it does have a signature but uh, it's a strange developer let's go ahead and run it and see what it does oh and it takes over our screen. That's not a good sign. I thought screen locking was a thing of the past, but as you can see, now I have no control over my desktop and I'm kind of forced into this let's start button. Aha, if you click the next accept button, which is the most logical thing to do for most people, you agree to set your default search to buddy find search and consent to its terms and privacy policy. So if we click this button, it's probably gonna download a bunch more adware and it's also going to change our search engine and browser settings. So we are perpetually gonna be bombarded with adware in the future. So now if we go back and do a simple search through our browser, we're somehow on yahoo.com, but I did see a redirect from the um, BuddyFine website, which is probably tracking all of our search queries and selling it to China. So that's great, two for two. So we manage quite a lot with just two Google searches. Now I know what you might be thinking. Those are some odd search queries. I'm not gonna do those searches. Plus, I'm not going to download applications. The only software I really need to download on my system might be my GPU drivers and maybe OBS Studio. Well, here's some good news for you. You're not gonna be left out. They've been several campaigns where malware authors essentially buy ads on Google to replace top searches. So for example, if you search for AMD graphics drivers or something like that, you're going to see a result that kind of looks like AMD drivers. You can see the actual URL is www.amd something. And the rest of the description looks exactly the same, but actually this is a malware website, which again is going to install an info stealer on your computer if you run whatever driver that they give you. Here's a similar result for Blender, a popular 3D animation software. And if you take a look at the website that these ads lead to, they look just like the legitimate website. They're exactly the same because they're pretty much copy pasted. The only difference 
references the download link. And even the setup programs often look exactly the same, and they're also pretty large in size. You can see this installer is almost 700 megabytes. And the way they do that is they actually fill in a lot of junk data inside the application. They may even have a nice GUI with the setup. But in the background, of course, they're going to run some kind of command prompt application that's actually doing the info stealing. Try to download this on your new laptop and boom, all of a sudden, all your online accounts, including your YouTube, is hacked. Oh, and I did make a video about the OBS Studio incident, and that was almost a year ago. So if you search for OBS, you would get these sites like obsstreaming.site as an ad in Google. And if you opened it, then I believe I should have this on video. Yep, you get a website like this, which looks very similar to the actual open broadcasting software website, but the setup you download is malware. And when I investigated this using Hexdump, you can see we basically have a string of zeros filling up the rest of the data beyond the info stealer bit. So despite all of this talk from many, including me, that the malware landscape has changed, a lot of attacks today are targeted. While that is true, a lot of people still get infected just like in the Windows XP days by doing a simple Google search. It's going to be very easy to download one of these info stealer packages and get some kind of remote access Trojan or info stealer on your computer. So make sure you like and share this video to people who think that this is no longer a thing or may not realize why an application in a password protected archive is almost certainly malware. Now I was making a video about sophisticated targeted attacks earlier and I accidentally stumbled upon an adware website and realized that while I'm saying most people don't get malware by clicking on random links today, it just happened to me. So that's why I made this video. Hope you found it helpful. And now to our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Pulseway a remote monitoring and management tool that you can use to automate the maintenance of all of your systems. A very simple agent and this connects with their management portal which is going to give you a custom interface to look at all the systems that you have. You can have workstations, servers, network devices, and different operating systems on Windows, Mac, or Linux. And for all of them, you can do basic automation scripts, like checking and installing updates, making sure that you're running at the correct time, cleaning up temporary files, the browser cache, system restore points, running your backups. You've also got a patch management system, as well as a third-party integration integrations, and you could also install endpoint protection like Bitdefender and manage it via this interface. You can also create your own tasks, set up custom notifications, for example, if we want to install updates, as well as check for system time, clear the browser cache, we can create a specific task, save it, and do that on all of our systems. So if you're managing a large number of systems, or you're the IT guy at your company, check out Pulseway. You can try them for free using the link in description. You can also get 40% off all their plans until July. So try them out, show them some love for supporting the PC Security channel. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.